that lack skills, therefore unemployable. And so you, you have different ministries and agencies that have pockets of budgets that addresses their needs. So the question is, how sustainable are those? Clearly they are not sustainable. What I think, Mr. President, is that we need to have an integrated way of ensuring that what every ministry has or agency in regards to youth progress or activity, it needs to be anchored by Ministry of Youth and Sports. But apart from that, I think the nation should have a set aside effort funded properly to address the need for the youth. Majorly, Mr. President, we have new normal for these youths. Things have changed. New skills have emerged. New ways of doing things have emerged. We live in a global world. Therefore, if we do not prepare them in a sustainable way to address what they need in order to equip them to be part of this global world, we're just going to lag behind. But most importantly, we will lose that demography. So I think this is a very, very pivotal motion. But what I want to talk about again in regards to this motion, Mr. President, is that there is an existing bill that addresses this issue. It would be good if we can accelerate the passing of that bill. If that is done, then we can say that yes, we are doing something for the youth. The other issue about this motion is that is the fact that Nigerian youth, whether we like it or not, we must treat them as we treat other resources. We are talking about human capital resources. We have them in abundance. Therefore, the same effort we make in our oil exploration, in our mining, in different natural resources, we should put it in developing our youth, their skills and talent. Senator here will support this bill. Indeed, I agree with that. There is no senator here, Mr. President, dear colleagues, that does not have a daughter, does not have a mother, and does not have a sister. Therefore, it's a given that every senator is in support of this very, very pivotal bill. Mr. President, if you take the simple analogy of our body holistically, and the statistics says that women have, women constitute 60% of the total population, which means that half of our body, if you take that scenario, if I'm more than half of our body, is what we are talking about. Who in their right sense would decide not to make use of that part of the body? I don't think it is possible. And so, Mr. President, dear colleagues, this bill is a very pivotal bill. It's a bill that is just commonsensical, that we will do what is right to ensure that Nigerian women are given equal opportunity, fairness and equity to participate and to be part of the nation. Mr. President, even the new normal detects that women are given fairness and equity in whatever it is that we do. And so I support this bill. First of all...